if these people are not making the, mo the money they are making, maybe we won't think of the fact that they need to be reporting these um, uh, uh, returns. Or if they're not, if they're not influencing people the way they are, we could, we may have looked the other way. But now they're making money and they're also influencing people. So we want to have a control over them. I'm not against monitoring what content creators are doing. But you have to do it as a package. Don't selectively do it. You know, don't do it selectively. Like, okay, let me just go after the money they're making and control them. Create an environment whereby they can work with you and agree with you and say, okay, yes, I, I'm going to register here. Just like here, we have Writers Guild of America. We have Actors Guild. We have, I know we have Actors Guild in Nigeria, but um, here it is not just about having the, the, the guild. So, and the government doesn't come and take over control. They negotiate with them. Over the past months, you had the negotiation with about uh, the actors. They took, uh, took about a hundred and something days in negotiating because they were trying to protect their rights from being taken over by the, by the um, uh, in the, yeah. Imagine AI environment. It's not just AI, but AI was one of the main reasons why they had to go and say, "Look, we have to call a spade and say this okay. point. You can't take okay. this. You can't. You can't do this with us. This is what we're gonna do. Because if we don't do it, AI will start writing, start acting, start editing, and before you know it, our job but go." Uh -huh. You know, so they had that negotiation with them, and they came up with that. Now, do you have an opportunity? Do you have a? Do you have that type of uh, environment whereby the actors can come and sit down and negotiate with the government without the government saying, "Oh, that you should do it this way." You see, that's the problem. We we don't have to. Th these are these people are trying to survive, right? And you come all of a sudden, you just grab what they are doing, and you want to control it. But did you sit down and look at the environment and say, "Okay, fine, this is what you are doing. This is how we can make you better." And this is what we can do to also, because monitoring is good. You know, part of the problems why Nollywood had a problem here in the USA was because when v DVDs was out there, I know how many meetings we held and the committees we tried to set up to control piracy because people were bootlegging things left, right, and center and, and, and diluting the fee and the amount of the DVDs. So we said, if we can control it, have people come together, decide how many can be released at a time or what is the guideline before you release we can have a control of the amount. You can't just pitch an amount because people are just, you go to a store, they say DVD $5. This person say DVD $10. This person say $9. People are just throwing prices all over the place. So it's good to sit down and organize them. But don't just go and make it seem like you're coming after them because people are trying to survive. They're going to resist you if you come with that approach. You got to give them a chance to know that you are coming for their interest because their interest is your interest. And your interest is the national interest that eventually lifts everybody up. You know, and this doesn't, it's not just concerning um filmmakers there are other things in nigeria that are like that you know that we need to address we don't come after people because we want to control them i don't know the thing about we like control i don't know why but uh, you know even if you want to control somebody you can give them freedom to control themselves and you just observe and you just coordinate or moderate and let them do their thing you know that's, that's